Hello everyone, welcome back to Oblivion. Last time we accidentally pissed off a Daedroth right after we walked out of hell, so you're going so we're going to in start this episode with combat. Oh. Ouch. Ha ha. 33% damage reflects his hello, you scaly son of a bitch. Alright. Let's go actually turn in this quest. I would have done it last episode. But, as I'm sure you remember, we were a bit overflowed on time then. Also, of course, healing up. Wait, why did I draw my sword? There's another Oblivion Gate. If that turns out to be the actual Oblivion Gate I'm supposed to have closed, I'm going to be kind of grumpy. Ah! Or did the... Nope, nope. So apparently only that one was the threatening one. That one a few hundred meters over there, completely no threat. It's just another portal to hell. Where's the problem, you know? Have you heard any word about the other provinces? I understand Daedra worship has become increasingly prevalent in the Somerset Isle. Thalmor! It could be a dangerous situation. Good day. Goodbye. That's actually kind of amusing what's going on in the other uh, provinces if you're looking at Oblivion. Looking at Skyrim, rather. Because a lot of them had, did various things. Like, I believe I already spoken on Aldrune getting reanimated, that big old crab that the whole big manor house place was built in. But, I don't think I've ever talked about what Black Marsh did. Black Marsh is the home of the Argonians. You know, the lizard people. They've got all sorts of cool shit. For example, you know how trees have... You know how their gods are trees? The Hist? The Hist have these cool underground root networks that basically are metro tunnels. Like, subways. You dive in and you go to another place. Only they don't really cost money because trees don't really need money. Sometimes they'll kill you and use you for nutrients, but they don't take your money. But what happened there was pretty interesting because not only did the Argonians fight the Daedra for obvious reasons, they did something that I am still amazed at to this day. The Argonians counterattacked the invasion of the Daedra and proceeded to colonize the other side of the Oblivion Gates. Maroon's Dagon sealed off Black March from the Oblivion Gates. Your bravery you is the talk of Skingrad. Well done. Yep. What are your rumors? Malona Umbranox, Ariana Volga, and Narina Carvain seem to rule their counties perfectly well without male assistance. How is that relevant whatsoever? Is Bethesda just trying to be politically correct here? Perhaps you'd better speak with my steward. I'm afraid I have little time to spend with visitors to Skingrad. Why? You could drain them of blood very easily and no one nearby would know. Unless they're important, I suppose. Mehrun's Dagon has no more love for my kind than for my mortal subjects. He acknowledges Less the vampire, as we publicly. Poor slaves. Yep. You have helped me by closing the Oblivion Gate near Skingrad. I will likewise help you by sending aid to Bruma. You too. And now we leave before we get arrested for trespassing. I don't know why they decided to send up so you have to trespass to talk to Janice Hasseldor, but it's a bloody nuisance, I'll tell you that. Plus, you can't jump out of these. Double hey. bloody nuisance. I wonder if all the skin red guard have that whole we're actually wearing steel boots and gauntlets thing. I think that's unique to skin grad. Hello. Well, 
there's Coral left, because I've been saving that for last. It's one of the only ones that actually has something I can t talk about in it, besides grumbling about, we're doing this again. Yes, we're doing this again. And again. And again. And again. And again. <laughs> it actually has Random Oblivion World 2. Which can show up in other locations, I believe I've mentioned. Yeah, these guys are wearing chainmail. I think it's unique to skin grab. But, Random Oblivion World 2 is special. It can spawn other places, but Coral is an assured spawn. Which Hellgate am I supposed to close? Damn it. One good thing happened out of this little bit of confusion. Found an iron root. I believe it should be this one that I need to shut off. To stem the tides of hell! Alright, there's a Daedroth over there, so I want to get this civil eye far away from the actual gate. Don't make good weapons. Maybe an entire technically valid weapon class, but technically valid is not actually valid. Look, Civil Eye Man. There's a reason that they stopped being it, being letting you. Yeah. I completely butchered my grammar there. Well done, me. There's a reason they stopped letting you be able to use hand-to-hand -hand in Skyrim. It's a terrible combat skill, okay? It does not work. You cannot Trying to punch someone in full plate doesn't really work. It's gonna break your fingers. Okay? Good. Storm Atronach. Dead horse? Is that a horse? It looks like a horse. Dead horse and guard. Leowin City Watch. Yep, I'm pretty sure this is the one. You can get a Leowin Shield if you're feeling like being a collector here. Ow, ow, ow. Alright, let's see if I can lure this guy far away from the gate. Again, I've already mentioned why, but I don't I want to fight one at a time as much as I can. Please note, Storm Atronachs are very slow. They do, however, have a very long reach. Rain cancels the Oblivion Sky effect. Temporarily. Still. Rain? I feel like that kind of makes sense. The skies are aflame. No, they're not. It's raining. And this lagger <laughs> found out. <laughs> There we go. Easy kill. Let's hope this is the right one because I buggered up the quest a bit. Yay me. Before I go in, the usual.
Armor 99. Let's go. casting himself. Or maybe it was an item. Has to have been the buff. A paint horse. Named so because as you can see, its blood was used to paint on the ground. This is not why paint horses are called paint horses, by the way. I ain't been doof. Where did you come from? Ha! <laughs> It doesn't matter. Whoa! He killed himself! Good job, sir! We have removed one demon from- Well, Daedra, but they're basically demons in this. From the world! A scamp! I'll take your skin because it's actually pretty rare at the later stages in the game. Yeah, we could go all around and go through some complicated maneuvering, or... Oh. Let's go through a quick swim and eat the damage. Why I'm not being shot by that, I don't know, but I'm quite happy for, because I don't like being shot. I know it's a bit of a controversial opinion, but shooting people is bad. one of these ways and get shot at by a tower. Or maybe more than a tower. Maybe multiple towers. That sounds like fun. Get shot by and by several towers where I have to fight horrible gribbles. I know. I was hoping for it to shoot the straw match knock for me, but apparently got out of its range. I'm not complaining, let's just get to that sigillum sanguis. You can't go into these for more loot, obviously, but... Eh. At this stage of the game, it's been very hard for the game to actually excite me with loot. I'm hoping Chivalry Niles will be able to change that. I'm not holding my breath. Definitely not. your soul. And how's the zero star looking, actually? It has nothing in it. Ah! I struck first there! Less risk to me. Hooray, hooray, we got less risk. a way I could climb onto that. But maybe... Let's see if we can shortcut the puzzles of this area, ladies and gentlemen. I jump like that. 
I jump to here. And here. And here. And here. Doesn't seem to be a passage underneath. Not on the other side. Can I get around to the other side? Oh, curiosity killed the cat, but oh god! No, I'm betting murderous fire towers killed the cat in this case. I don't even Khajiit and I can still use that metaphor. <sighs> still do think Khajiit are interesting though. Especially as their entire, you know, society revolves around the fact that they're safely able to use what everyone else considers a horrifically dangerous drug. Moon sugar. Not Skuma, though. Skuma is very bad for Khajiit. It's kind of interesting, really. Refine it makes it worse. Maybe it's probably something like concentration doses. Does that make sense? Like, one's more concentrated than the other? Well, looks like I'm not going to be able to hop my way up there, so... Plan B. Good morning. Good morning. Ah! I'm gonna kill you. Ah, ah and they paralyze me. How lovely. Ah. 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 There we go. There goes the Storm Astronaut. And it looks like the... Spider Danger has also forgotten about me. It is playing the combat music, though. Or it's going to play some music. I can't actually tell. No, that's definitely the combat music. That's definitely the combat music. It was just at one of its lower points, I guess would be a good way to put it. That's definitely the combat music. Alright. suppose Crazy Spider Lady has not forgotten about me then. Yeah. Open the spindle shrine. The badly damaged corpse smasher. How lovely. Paralysis? If that's his hammer enchantment, it's not, thank God. Okay. He almost killed himself just by hitting me. That's the power of 33% damage reflect, kids. You just do not die normally. Like, don't you have more than 33%? Yeah, I have 33%. Right. I could get. 12% more, but I'm not sure that makes up for the point of armor. I'm not quite sure how these damage calculations work in greater detail. Let's go to the blood well. Interesting name, given the term for blood spurting from a wound is welling up. Also, I'm willing to bet that there's lever up here that I pull and it unlocks those gates on that little bridge. Hmm. Cage master and gate control. That guy probably didn't have anything interesting on him. Ah, the spider dater got themselves stuck down there. All right, let's leave.
Look at all that blood on the ground! You know why it's called the blood well if blood is welling up like that? You are just a stubborn bitch, aren't you? Ah! Huh. Ah! Ha! And there we go, with a tiny flicker of frame drop when I captured the soul. Yay, old games! And here we are, where the Sigillum Sanguius lies. Back to the Crusader's Blade on the grounds of Frack Your Magica and Frack You. <laughs> So the fire damage is probably the more important of the enchantments on it, but don't underestimate it, you know. Just bait, flat out damage. Whoa! Bouncing. I did not expect to have to bounce a day drop there. There it goes, burnt to death. And there that goes! Mostly damage reflected to death. The civil eye appears to have gotten stuck, as you can see by this heavily glitching out shadow. As you can see, a physics engine that has not been updated for a long time can result in some very strange things happening. Squawk! And squawk! And squawk! And you punched me and you died for it because I have magical damage reflection. Did I loot you? I looted you. Always make sure you've looted the, the spider danger. They do have very nice loot. I have expected my appreciation for the utility of Venom multiple times. Scamp skin, thank you. Remember, kids, skin your enemies to get better stuff that way. There's a spider dagger still alive. Where? Whatever. Let's start working back up towards the Sigillum Sanguius, as usual. Holy shit, they summoned a day draw. There we go, bounce that to cancel out that day draw. Alright, two out of the three hostiles down, two hostiles remain, one summoned and temporary. A very hard lock scroll! I didn't know the skeleton sheet, that might be useful. Here's a kin marcher, wow. You are not having to have a good day today, sir. What your staff do? Corrosion. I'm going to need to repair my armor, aren't I? Yep, I'm going to need to repair my armor. Well, good thing I looted a repair hammer. I probably should have stocked up in between episodes, honestly. But that day I draw meant that I would have had to break the flow, and that just doesn't feel right to me, you know? So like how I should sell that ruby, that topaz, all of these gems, displays of these sigil stones. Also, this is kind of okay and kind of bad. Like, the turning undead can be useful, but it's level limited, and le undead do level with you, so once you pass level 25, it's pretty useless. But being able to detect life... Being able to detect life is one of those effects that I actually want to sit here and talk about for a bit while I, while I play with my inventory. Detecting life is almost useless. But... Hang on to that last word. It is almost useless. It is 
not, in fact, actually useless. In normal combat scenarios, I would not recommend wearing any Detect Life items. However, there are several opponent types that I will strongly recommend using them against. One. Well, situations like this, where you have an opponent attacking you and you don't know where they are. That is a very dangerous situation, with mages especially can get you killed very, very quickly, because mages in this game rely on ridiculous amounts of burst damage. You fire off a good weakness spell, and then a good direct damage spell, and you will see enemy health drop... ridiculously. Like, it'll be... I don't even have words for it. It's... it's insane. Mage OP. As it was in Morrowind, so it was in Skyrim, and hello, spider. I didn't quite manage to catch up to you, but I will stab you to death, no matter what. And I get paralyzed! I hope you burn to death. Didn't quite burn to death, but it was low enough that I could hit them with one strike. What's that damage effect so I know? Oh, it's just health. Right. Also, they lazed out the description of that lesser power, so I don't think that you're supposed to look at it. It was just poison spit, and the spit wasn't capitalized. Bethesda! Naughty, naughty. I believe I pointed that out before, but I figure it should be pointed out again. Come on, give me a good thwack! There we go. Both of those lead to the same place. Okay. No real problems, and that's a storm astronaut, right? Seems that the level ups that I... What did it just hit me with? It hit me with weakness to frost and frost damage. That is a nasty combination. I'm going to hide behind a pillar. Oh, you just some Mark Young's. Hang on. Was that sword enchanted? Where did it go? I can't see it. One moment. There it went. The quintessence of remorse. What did you do? Oh! That's a really strong weapon. I'm glad I didn't get smacked with that. Ow! Paralysis. Ah! Always an incredibly powerful effect. Honestly, if I got a Paralysis Sigil Stone, I might actually replace this weapon that I've been using these days. I paralyzed him with a quick forward strike. You see why it's so dangerous. All right. My restoration skill increased. I should rest and meditate on what I've learned. The fact that you know how to meditate despite being stuck in a dungeon for the first few minutes of your existence is kind of interesting, but whatever. Meditation generally doesn't really go in with You know, be, it's the kind of person who goes into a prisoner, but I suppose, you know, different world, it could mean a different thing. Ha! Oh. We've got a problem. <laughs> okay. Paralyzed. Sure. Double problem. Oh. 
Why do I even have a scroll for this? I can cast it normally. Make that go away. amount of damage in a quick time frame via ah, getting paralyzed again apparently is my method for dealing with ridiculous amount of damage. Go me! If I'm paralyzed, I can hit them harder. That makes sense, right? No? No? Alright. Alright, let's move this giant spider butt out of the way so I can loot the other giant spider butt. One hour, so I don't bore you with more restoration training. Be in things that are likely to bore you. Soon! As in, after the next Oblivion game. We'll never have to... Actually, no, 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 no. As much as after the next Oblivion Gate, we'll never have to close an Oblivion Gate again. We still do have Oblivion Gates to close. And not just ones that we can close, but that we will have to close. Yes, there are still more. You're going to get very, very sick of these. I believe the traditional metaphor for that is sick as a dog. I have a dog, and while she has never been sick in a significant manner, I can imagine her being very grumpy when she's sick. She's entirely too friendly, after all. I have spells. I'm gonna frack and use them. Get out of my face! Get out of my There we go. Goodbye. Good riddance. Get stuffed. Ugh. I hate it when fights go like that. I hate it so very much. March of the Sea. Apologies to the if I was a little loud and snappy there, but I don't like when fights go like that. It pisses me off. It's not fun, it's not interesting. And as always, precious, rare resources. Sorry, Kid Archer, but you're a thousand years too early. And a Markyans too! Well done! You're both morons! I tried to stab you in the throat, which is a rather common method of dealing with chainmail! As there is usually a lump of chain at the throat, and at the end, even if you didn't manage to pierce through the chain, causing bruising to the esophagus is a fast way to stop breathing. So there you go, folks! If you need to know how to kill someone in chainmail, I have just given you part of an instruction manual! 
I see another claymore under there. Is it enchanted? Retribution of aggression. It's going to do something dumb, isn't it? Damage strength. That's not dumb. It doesn't seem to have worked on me. Thank the bloody-handed god for that. But that is not dumb like I said it was. Ick. <laughs> Just... Ick. Sigillum Sanguinus! Yay! This gate is over! After this, we're going to go on a loot dumping spree. End up and buying some more repair hammers, because, well, yeah. There goes the Valkyons! The summoning Valkyons! I'll take that ring case need to play another jump thing. It looks like that Daedroth was summoned too. Whoa! Ow! Ah! I always forget that hammers have longer reach than long swords. They don't look that long, I promise. There's probably a Garrus Vicarian joke about reach and flexibility, but those are so old that I can't be bothered to try and repeat them. Which I do like Mass Effect. They consider a let's play on it, but I'm pretty sure that it, that's just that sort of thing. It's really outdated by now. I don't know nearly as much about it as I do say this game. Granted, this is the game I know the least about the Elder Scrolls series, but... Hey, empty soul gem! Umbra thanks you for the feast! I have better. Okay, that's just pathetic. I'm just going to use those up right now. Cause that's just pathetic. Greater soul gems with petty souls. I'm sorry. Pathetic. You had a chance at being good. And you failed. What did this one do? It's disintegrate weapon 50 points on strike or fortify blunt 12 points on self. In other words, it's utterly useless to me. Completely and utterly useless. Yeah, that's not actually very useful. The elves are one of the worst races. Granted, they are short, which does help. What is it? What? Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Jolring. Who, who are you? I Why come you? on behalf of my master, Umbakano. Oh! He asked me to deliver this note. I believe it is an invitation to visit him at his manor <coughs> in the Imperial City. How did you know I was here? That was an interesting time for the alien statue that I sold so long ago to pop up. Okay. My master is a collector of alien antiquities. It has come to his attention that you recently sold an item that interests him. All right. I believe the note will give you all the details. Okay, what can you say about Umbacano? My master, Umbacano, lives in the Talos Plaza district of the Imperial City. He is known across Cyrodiil as a collector of alien antiquities. It can't be Dwemer, because the Dwemer never settled here, so they had to come up with something else for ancient ruins. Take care. Granted, I do like Alien Ruins, but I always prefer the Dwemer, just because Dwemer have this whole background of big lore, and the Alien, they had a couple of mentions, I think, but Oblivion basically made them up out of whole cloth, and meh, meh, 
just sort of, yeah, you know? Return this quest and get that loot. Spare a coin for the infirm. And dump that loot, rather. So they don't actually want to get more loot. As strange as that feels to say. In fact, as darn near, right, downright her heretical as that feels to say, I don't need any more loot. Nope, I'm full up on loot. Hello, Mazoga. You wear leveled equipment. Also, your girl, as you can tell, if you look carefully at the curvature of the armor from this angle. Yep. Slight boob plate. Still boob plate, but mm, it is only slight. Whatever. Let's wait two hours, shall we? How are you today? Hello, Alessia Caro. You saved the church from that wicked old alien king, didn't you? Well done. That was a while ago. In these difficult times, we must count on persons such as you to secure our borders from bandits and rabble-rousers. We all profit by your lawful pursuit of the unlawful, and we encourage you to attack, burn, loot, and destroy them wherever you can. <laughs> I like that. Bye. The Count always says that Leowin stands alone, but your actions proved him wrong. Well done. Right, I need to find the Count. Be seeing you. When will the Count if be audience? If it isn't the toast of Leowin, how can I help you? Well, it is closed to Hellgate. Leowin is in a state of transition. It has long been a respected county, making moderate cultural and economic contributions to the Empire. However, Leowin must move toward the mainstream of imperial culture, both in trade and in political affairs. Um. Okay. Bye. Hail, Sir Knight. Ah, there's the Count's bodyguard, so where's the Count? I'm pretty sure the Count himself is essential. I kind of need to talk to him. That's about aid for Bruma. I'm going to wait an hour. This is confusing me. She really hates it when people mess up her place. The Five Claws is a very clean place. Witsy Gutsy. Hello there. Um, Go ahead, please. Nothing. Take care. Looks like I need to hunt down the count. Okay, that's annoying. Let's give him another hour. Just to make absolutely sure he's not coming out of his little oh. hidey hole. Any time now. Thank you. I hope you've been successful. I beat up hell for you. How did a dark elf become Count Chaden Hall? King Helseth and Berenzia have considerable influence, and Helseth and Indaris are cronies. Get it? Or he was just a really good choice, but okay. I am proud of my family's tradition of service to Leowin and its people. We face many challenges, but God's willing, we shall prevail. Well, with the Oblivion Gate near Leowin closed, I suppose the immediate threat is lessened. I'm glad I got the I right one. I will do as you ask. Let no one say Leowin did not do its part to uphold the Empire. All right then. Prompt How can I help this you? Matter will be I don't care about Mazoga. Also, actually, before I go drop off my actual cell loot, I should go to, to Frost Crag Spire, dispose, open the somewhat less laggy lag chest, and take a nap to level up. Because I need to level up so I can get more health. And, so, and when I get more health, I can fight better.
By the way, neat detail, but you can see how that how Frostcrag Spire has clearly been covered in snow and rock over the years. And how it's built upon an actual mountain peak that has been sort of flattened out, as you can see there. And how these are meant to buttress it and keep it from falling over. I have no idea what the magical spinny bits are, but I'm going to assume they're magical spinny in bits. Other thoughts are mm, not forthcoming due to the nature of the situation. Living area, please. Thank you. Chest of magical alchemical ingredients. You're going to get filled up again. With all of those ingredients, I've been coming to stockpile in silly amounts. See this, I now have 230 pounds. I used to have less than 100. Luck again, agility again, speed again. I nearly maxed out my luck. That's going to be very helpful, because luck is part of the equation of spell cost. <laughs> really though it is. I need to dump off these gems and get some more repair hammers, so let's go to the Imperial Market District. <sighs> and dump off this junk. Then we can start the Coral Oblivion Gate. I do not expect to finish the Coral Oblivion Gate to this episode. It will likely be next episode. Hello there. However, quest I will be hunting for Only the quality special goods for items here. that you can find in what that Oblivion can I Gate. You in? It's one of the reasons I want to clean out my inventory. These gems don't take up much weight, but they do and take up some, and more importantly, they're clutter that I don't really need. I mostly loot them out of habit at this that, point, and because they don't really weigh that, enough to cause any significant problems. Now you, sir, are going to sell me 10 repair hammers? How many repair hammers does that leave me with? That gives me 20 repair hammers I remembered perfectly. Go Goodbye. me! Now, if you're doing aid for Bruma and you're having trouble finding Okado, don't worry about it. He just tells you that the legions are ridiculously busy keeping order in all the other provinces. Which doesn't really make sense. You'd, I'd think you'd want to keep your capital safe over everything else, but... It is what it is, I guess. I'm gonna test something now that Coral is the last place. And hopefully Good nothing tidings. breaks here. I'm going to try and activate the Aid for Bruma quest again here. Hello, my lord. Don't call me my lord, I work for a living. Specifically, I work killing bandits and, dr and demons. Mostly demons at this stage in the game, so the bandits do make a pretty penny given they mo mostly wear glass armor. It is kind of ridiculously valuable. It is quite nice. While I under- Alright. I've sometimes thought I'd like to make a pilgrimage to the Way Shrines, but my duties prevent me from such extensive and dangerous travel. It'd be kind of interesting if you could offer to escort her around. Farewell. But yeah, you can't actually make the quest marker go to the Oblivion Gate. What? What is it? Because what you're supposed to do is go to each town in turn, and then pop it! Again and again and again! So, I did kind of screw up the markers for this quest, and if you want your life to be a little bit easier, I suggest you follow them. Alright. I've got enough free space that I should be able to carry the special mace, bow, and arrows. Note, I will not be using any of these special weapons, but I will be getting them nonetheless for the sake of showing off how to get them. Again, we see that Skingrad is unique in having its guards wearing steel gloves and steel boots instead of chainmail. And as we see, this old little fort outside has been inhabited by horrible demons! Not 
should have softened him up a bit. Ow, and that softened me up a lot more, I'm willing to bet. Am I stuck? I think I'm stuck. Well, shit. This is awkward, um... Jim Jiminy, Jim Jiminy, Jim Jim Cherry! Jim Jiminy, Jim Jiminy, Jim Jim Cherry! Do 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 Jim Jiminy, Jim Jiminy! Ha! It's been a while. Get out of here, Zivalot! Doesn't have the same sort of ring as get out of here, Stalker, but I can't do a Russian accent to save my life anyway, unless you want one from Red Alert. I wish my copy of Uprising still worked. I'd love to do a Let's Play of that game, but eh. There are always things you want, there will always be things that you can't have. an eye on the local map in here. Of. What is your poison doing? It is draining my fatigue. <laughs> One of the really important things to have fast region of, given how, of how low fatigue does lower your damage. Doesn't lower your hit chance though, because they got rid of that, and I approved that because that was a pain. Realistic, but a pain. You shall not pass. <laughs> Let's see if I can knock him off. Yes, I can! He has fallen off! Goodbye, you son of a bitch. You won't be missed. Now, this Oblivion Realm is one of the larger ones. There are lots of towers here. We're hunting for one specific one. With a very specific name. Ooh. All the other towers here have some sort of disaster theme. Tornado, hurricane, tempest. That sort of thing. One does not. That's the odd duck. We're going to make this duck quack and give us shiny things, because otherwise we're going to beat the shit out of it. That probably stretches the metaphor, but I don't really care. Let's loot these fleshy pods that were probably once people! Well, that one is probably a punished spider danger, but whatever. Maybe it was a person wrapped up by a spider danger. Ah! Well, these days, I'll figure out what that effect with Daydrop do is. And maybe I'll even dispel it. That likes to be an interesting thing to try as a maid, dispelling whatever that effect is. I should see if I can find a dispel spell lying around, or maybe a dispel scroll. I'd say a poison, but I don't think you can make dispel poisons. It doesn't let you. At least I don't think so. Which is kind of dumb, but... Eh. See a corpse that fell down? Combat sound. 
Frosty. Nothing. Ow. This is again. Another large muscular blue man with a arm face as well. And a loincloth! Can't forget the loincloth. See, tornado. We're looking for the odd one out. The others will do various things. There's a bit of a puzzle involving them, but we're looking for the odd one out. find it this episode though. It's getting a bit late in time. And there's a bunch of landmines around. Of course there are. Of course there are. I'll stay away from that then and as soon as I say I'll stay away from landmines, what do I find but more fragging landmines? in the episode off here. Next time we're going to finish the Coral Oblivion Gate and we'll be done with the Accursed Aid for Bruma Quest. Not quite done. We'll still need to ask Okato, hey, can you send any troops that'll tell us no? <sighs> but we'll be basically done. So, if you guys have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please leave them in the comments section below, or in the threads on space battles and sufficient velocity that will be linked in the description. And for now, goodbye!